Hello guys, welcome back to part two of my travel through New Brunswick. We are in Miramichi right now, it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. Driving by the Ford dealership, this thing caught my eye. This F-150 is looking pretty damn good. It's a 2018, obviously had the sport package, uh, yep. Yeah. So you got the blacked out sort of satin looking grill. Nice set of wheels on it. He went, uh, he went pro comp for sure. I'd say this was probably a dealer build. He's got pro comp wheels, pro comp rims. I can't see anything on the lift itself, but it's. I would just go ahead and assume that it's a pro comp lift. But there's some things going on here that I've never seen before. I've never seen this sort of support bracket that's welded to the frame coming off. Is that on normal F-150s? Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Bushwhacker fender flares looking good, painted to match, of course. But no, it's a nice looking truck. Like that is, that is a sharp looking F-150. Ruby red. My 2017 F-250 was ruby red, and it looks good when it's all done up like this. When it's just body match and black it looks really 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 good obviously they changed the upper control arms they're nice and beefy and they're not cranked way to hell down trying to hold on for dear life they are still wearing a little bit on the inside so in time that you get a lift you have a chance of that i would say it's a pro comp lift i mean pro comp's pretty good it's not bad there are better lifts out there but the truck is super clean super clean as far as the paint goes the inside looks fantastic. That would be a nice truck for someone to jump into when it's already ready to go. Yeah. Man, he's got some stuff. Like, look at the space here. Look, I can stick my hand all the way in there. There's nothing <laughs> like, la la la. I'm used to the big friggin' fans and radiators and stuff in the diesel, but. Nice little truck. For 17 kilometers, Check this continue out. straight. Looks like an old, looks like an old 6.0. Still going strong. So we're in a little town now called uh, Niguac, Niguac, something like that. If I'm butchering these names, uh, I'm really, really sorry. If you're from the area, I there's <laughs> some. There's some weird names in New Brunswick, but it is like completely flat. I'm actually going to reset my other trip, not my one I'm doing right now. I'm gonna keep track of the whole trip, but see what I get from mileage. It is completely flat through here. It's like it's like PEI in a lot of ways. But we're on our way to uh, to the peninsula or to the point, which is like which is Karakit. And then we're gonna do the loop and come back through um, Bathurst. So we left Miramichi. We're heading out basically to the point, which is Karakit, and then we're coming back around. So we're we're at uh, we're going like Trakity, Karakit, come back around to Bathurst, and then we'll, we'll be continuing on up to up to towards Campbellton, and then down through Kedgwick. And then hopefully, hopefully make it to like Woodstock is what I'm hoping today. It's going to be a long day, a lot of driving, but that is what I'm hoping to have happen. But we will see. But yeah, right now we're like getting over 20 miles per gallon, just sort of cruising here and it will get, it will get even better. Man, she's flat. She's just like PEI. We don't really have this at all in Nova Scotia. We don't have flat land at all in Nova Scotia. And there's not much in, in New Brunswick either, but this happens to be one of the spots that there is. I think people in Trakady know how to make coffee at home or something. I got my coffee, I went to McDonald's, it took me 25 minutes to go through the drive-thru, and 
while I was sitting there, there's like the vehicles are lined up out in the road, and I'm thinking it's construction or something because nobody is moving. Like they're just sitting there. And then I get out, and it's the lineup for Tim Hortons. There had to be 80 cars in the lineup going to Tim Hortons. It was lined up out in the road. There was about 25, 30 cars on the road, and then it pulls off the road and comes in and does this and then goes around and it was jammed like that that was the reason why like 80 90 cars at least in that lineup going through tim hortons at 10 30 in the morning that ain't worth it <laughs> they're going to be sitting there for at least 45 minutes waiting to get a coffee no thank you no thank you i don't have a choice i'm on the road i'm jammed in my truck anyway <laughs> Wow, we have arrived in Karakit. It's kind of like Cat the Cat from the Vikings, Scandinavia. I believe that body of land over there is, uh, is PEI. Way over across the water. I will confirm that, but I am quite confident that it is. Man, oh man, the people love their Tim Hortons. Like, look, look at this. There is the lineup. All the way back there is Tim Hortons. That is insane. Here's A&W, they serve coffee. Like five vehicles. Anyway, that's nuts. Nice spot. Alright, so I was like way off. That is not PEI. We are in the Gulf of the St. Lawrence right now. Gulf of the St. Lawrence. And that is actually just another body of New Brunswick. Like way over there is like Hamilton and stuff. So it's just New Brunswick. So it's still New Brunswick, way over there. And this is the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Very sort of well-known area, the St. Lawrence. All right, so Karakit, we're gonna say goodbye to you right now. They build them big and they build them well. So we're on our way now from sort of Karakit to Bathurst. And we're following the shoreline all the way through. It is absolutely beautiful through here. It's all firms and, and an ocean. You know, Nova Scotia and, and PEI, Cape Breton, gets a lot of, you know, the fanfare for scenery and whatnot as far as maritime provinces goes. I mean, of course, Newfoundland is absolutely beautiful. But there are some very nice places in New Brunswick. This area, the Bathurst side, along the coast, is honestly breathtaking. Like like that that bluff and the ocean, it's it's beautiful. Like it is. It absolutely is 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 beautiful. There's some really 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 nice places in New Brunswick. If you drive along the shore in New Brunswick, whether it's the St. John side, this side, uh, you know, going down to St. Stephen, it it's it's really nice scenery. It's definitely worth worth the drive. I had to. I had to. I had to pull over. I had like, oh my god, it is absolutely beautiful. The truck looks so friggin' good with this as a background. I mean, come on. Talk about... Wow. Wow. But man, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at the driftwood. Man. The smell of that ocean water, mm, I absolutely love it. These little cottages here, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we're probably 10 minutes outside of Bathurst right now. And man, this is so friggin' nice. The water's a little stirred up, but God, you see the bluff here, the bluff all the way on the other side. Beautiful. 
I had to pull over. I had to. All right, so the truck says 13.4 liters per hundred. We just filled up. It took 117 liters. You guys probably can't see that, but you gotta take my word for it. 117 liters and we traveled 826 kilometers. So let's do the math. So the truck says 13.4. The calculation says 14.16. So not off by much and that converts to 16.61 mpg so again very close to what the computer says and guys like I said before there's a ton of idling time there 13 hours and 43 minutes for 826 kilometers. Bathurst we are in Bathurst New Brunswick busy little spot here today absolutely beautiful I'm pretty sure it's raining today back in Nova Scotia but man it couldn't be any nicer here so Bathurst is uh, like once you get past Miramichi Bathurst is the biggest hub on this side of New Brunswick and they actually uh, they have a CHL team the uh, Acme Bathurst T10 and they actually won the Memorial Cup the CHL uh, two or three years ago it, it is like still a small little spot but they they had a great team and man I uh, I have never watched a game there but that building looks uh, intimidating it's not a big building but it looks intimidating but a few boats. I've seen a few few boats out today. I think this is like sort of downtown. I'm not really all that familiar with with Bathurst. Train station. train stations these days. Uh, what's this? Community College, New Brunswick, Bathurst, Bathurst camp, campus. We found a little bit of snow coming in through here. It's a pretty good hill climb down here too. Cliff. I had to put her, had to put her in four wheel drive. Well I didn't have to but I did. I assumed that I would have had to. But yeah it's all cliff right there. She is steep, boys. The water looks so refreshing right now. She's steep. Beautiful. All right, guys. So you can see those Appalachians in the far side there, and over there, that is Quebec. So that is the next province over. We are getting pretty close to Camelton right now. I'm not sure if, if I'm going to go all the way into Camelton or not. I'm not going to get everything done, and I want to get done on this trip. So I'm going to have to just come back up and do the other side of the province. So I'm only gonna get this this side done this time. Yeah, so right over there is uh, Quebec. Turn left onto Route 134. See, there's still snow up on the mountain tops over there. In five point eight kilometers, keep left onto Main Air Street. You can really hear the turbo in this truck, like so much more than what you can hear in the 17 and 19s. Check out those two nuggets there in front of us. like a big egg well it wasn't too bad coming up here there is some snow but nothing on the road I come up in two-wheel drive actually loose rocks steep no problems those tires so far guys quiet mileage is freaking amazing obviously most that's the truck but the tires don't hurt and traction 
great. They're wearing really well. You can't tell a difference at all between between the front and the back. They've got uh, about, I'd say 4,000 miles on them so far, so not, not high mileage, that's for sure, but so far so good. So, again, beautiful scenery. She is a, she's a pretty steep grade here, getting down to the anchor. So if I'm the one here, or if I'm up here at the time this site gets done, I will do this with the machine. I will climb down over the bank and I will do this with the machine. But if, if it's my operator, I'll probably say forget it and I'll do it and I'll get it cut by hand. Just because I don't want anything happening to anybody and I feel better about doing stuff like this myself than I do sticking somebody else in that situation. Again, this one is steep as well. That one's no big deal. But this one is, is pretty steep. It will take longer to do with the machine than normal, but it can be done. It will take much longer to do by hand than with the machine, but I would feel better about it. But if it's me, I'll do it. If it's my operator, I might say, uh, forget it. But, I mean, you just put your blade in front of you in this case, prop yourself up, and you're all right. But, anyway. But, yeah, way over there, guys, is Quebec. The water is so calm through there right now. Like, there is no wind whatsoever. Look at the trees. Listen. It's so calm. Like... I'm sure there's a good current going through there, especially underneath, but man, that is so calm out there. But yeah, that is Quebec. But the truck is taking a shit kicking again. You know how I had her nice and clean. Not anymore. She is wrote off again. Mud and bugs. It's not as bad as yesterday. But if it's, if I find a car wash on the way through, I'll probably stop and give her a hose off. All right, I changed my mind. I'm going to one more site. Look at that big nugget up there. Just a big friggin' boulder. That is a big rock. It's basically it is what it is. It's one goddamn big rock. like a cross up there painted a red and white cross on the side of the friggin mountain I don't know. anyway wow I gotta say I don't think I've ever been to this site before I don't remember coming through this windy twisty road with the snow melt runoff river along the side of the road it's all mountains through through here and that's just all runoff from, you know, from melting right now, coming down the shoulder of the road. They had a hell of a time building this road, I can tell you that. But yeah, it's pretty uh, <laughs> twisty and <laughs> windy through here. And I am gradually going up. I'm pretty sure I've never been here. Wow, let's take some balls to put a house there. There's a freaking flow of water coming down off the, on the shoulder of the road right now. I can feel the temperature getting cooler as I go up. It's like mountaintop living up here. We are like the highest peak around. There's nothing, there's nothing higher than us. We, we are a long ways up here, but it is absolutely Top living. I bet you, uh, bet you people just do whatever the hell they want to do up here. Like, whatever they want to do. Burn down the road in their cars, drive the four wheelers down the road, 
you know, what, whatever they want to do, I'm sure anything goes. I don't see there's too much, probably too much law enforcement up, up, up here. That's for sure. But it's pretty neat. I mean, the houses are, are all really close together, so it wouldn't be for me. But I guarantee there's some decent house parties up here. Everybody knows everybody. A lot of guys got some nice trucks. Trail boss back there. There's some tundras. Everybody's got a truck. You'd have to have one up here. Look at this freaking snow. Bike. I guarantee they get some crazy ass weather up here in the winter time. Like it snows, I bet you, basically every day in the winter time up here. All right, guys. So you probably can't see this, but there, there's two moose right there. A mom and a calf. I drove by and they're like they were like by the second set of poles, and then I did a U-turn. Sorry, <laughs> came back and of course they walked away and now they're gone. But you guys probably didn't even see that. Anyway, man, the headlights on the 2020 look so freaking good, especially with the white. I mean the uh, clear lenses on the top too for the clearance lights, but the the lights are. So so much better than the 19s. I did not like the solid C shape. I didn't like it. I didn't like the fog lights. This is such a sharp looking front end. Like I love the front end. I didn't like the platinum at all in the uh, 17s and 19s. I just didn't like them. I didn't like the grill, the honeycomb grill, but I love the look of this truck. I do, I do. So I pulled in and I just assumed that this was the Ford section. F 150, 150, Super Duty, 150, Super Duty. <laughs> We've got Ram and Toyota over here. But uh, yeah, I just assumed this was the place to park. So, we're joining the family. Alright, boys, well, here we are, made it to the hotel. I made a part two because you guys seem to like part one. I don't know what part two is going to look like. I haven't started editing it yet. That's what I'm doing right here, right now. But man, we got a classic on the TV. We got Top Gun on the TV. Will I, get, will I get copyrighted for that? Who knows? Anyway, guys, we made it back, same hotel, all over again. It's like deja vu. But I hope you liked this video. We'll see how it turns out, but let me know. Let me know. Anyway, guys, for now, that's it. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.